I'm just confused. Honestly, I'm confused on what this has to do with me and my husband. Your husband and you are only married because of pride and because of the politics that surrounded pride and all of the things that happened to go with that. So what does it have to do with you and your husband? Everything. This has gotten completely out of control. Why is there a growing segment of gay people who just do not like pride parades? It's because of all the footage that we're gonna go through in this video, because honestly, it speaks for itself on how deranged and decrepit it has become. And let it be known, as a black and queer individual, the LGBTQ community does not speak on my behalf or yours. Okay, relax there, buddy. He already feels like a token to me. Love that for you. But also, no community speaks for anybody. I don't know if you know, but we're not a monolith. I'm sorry, I'm already getting like gay defensive. I just feel like this idea is so ironic because all these like grifters come in during Pride and they're like, I'm not like those gay people. I'm a different kind of gay person. No community speaks for you, bro. And if anyone can speak for you, then I don't even, you know, girl, you do you. But nobody speaks for me, period. Whether it's the Assyrian community, the gay community, the Huimans, the non-binary, none of y'all speak for me but also okay what's that have to do with pride girl we're gonna dive deep into why some gay people do not like pride parades as well as react to a bunch of clips that we've collected from across the country and if you like this kind of content be sure to subscribe it helps the channel grow a ton i'm so appreciative to have you here guys please subscribe we're gonna reach 100k this year and i want you to be a part of it 30 percent of you who watch me on the regular do not subscribe subscribe because there's lots more content like this coming as well as an entire LGBTQ playlist of content that I've made in the past. This... Okay, they're obviously making a joke. We're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. It's a joke because conservatives think we're like, we're all groomers. It's a joke. Okay, maybe you think it's in bad taste, but it's obviously a joke. A growing theme that was even we dedicated a whole video to talk about it because so many people talk about how this isn't that common, this isn't a thing that's happening. It is. And they're literally chanting it. We're here, we're queer, and we're coming for your children. Why? This obsessive behavior that some gay people have with targeting people's children, honestly, is probably rooted in a lot of trauma on their own. And they're wanting to get back at other parents for some reason. I don't know, but it's disgusting and it needs to stop. This is why- I don't You didn't say anything, girl. Like, you didn't even say anything, girl. You just made something up in your head. You're not even getting the joke. The haters have no sense of humor, bro. Uh, Pulu says this guy is a gay African conservative. 90% of his content is shitting on blacks, gays, and liberals. Bros. Oh, oh, he's a hater gator. I knew it. I knew he was a like a little token. Like, I get, I felt it, girl. I felt it the moment I saw that thumbnail. I knew it, girl. I don't even like going to pride parades. I don't like seeing the children there. And I don't like this growing segment of the gays that are all- That's how I feel about church. I hate seeing kids there. That's a joke, okay? That's a joke. But also, like- Let's be real, girl. Who's grooming your kids? The priests. But also, let's be real. Maybe some pride parades aren't as appropriate for kids. Some places do it like a morning parade and an evening parade. Some people have separate areas for kids and adults. You know, that's a conversation we can always have every year like we always do. Should kids go to pride? Depends on the pride. Not all prides are the same everywhere. Also, just hyper-focus on children. I don't want to be in that crowd. I don't want to be associated with that crowd. And just because of what I do behind a closed door, does that mean I have to assimilate and and, and you know, be with that and hype that up. I mean, I think kids should have a space at Pride. Like kids are also gay and queer and trans. We should just have a like kid appropriate Pride. I want nothing to do with this at all. And will see us. Your children will love us. And your children will join us. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be a joke. Cause if it's not a joke, it's like super cringe. But then I never know. I never know when people are putting on a joke and then people get clipped out of context, but obviously that's like super weird and like creepy. Don't be weird. But also I don't know if it's a joke because if it's a joke, then it's kind of like funny. But if it's not a joke, then it's kind of like weird. It's unfortunate because I do think that this person is facing a lot of mental health issues and there's no need for this person to be on the stage shaking, trembling, crying, saying your children will see us, your children will love us, and your children will join us. Like how, how out of touch and honestly just deranged do you have to be to dedicate your life existence as a grown man oh. to going at- Is that a grown man? 
Is that a drag? Oh, it's a drag. Is it tra is she trans or is it a drag queen? But either way, I can't tell. Is this, is this black gay misgendering the white trans or the white drag? I can't handle what's happening. Is this queer on queer crime? After others, people, children to make sure they're drag queens, to make sure they're queer, to, to, to indoctrinate them into something that you're also fighting for and saying that, you know, we're just born this way. Okay, we're just born this way, then let it be. Why are you sitting here trying to attack other people's children and trying to make them something? Something that they may not even be to begin with and that's not okay um it, it, it is predatory behavior that man i need to be a grifter i need a grift i could do it i could do it here i got it i am as a queer person i am so sick of these homosexuals my fellow homosexuals pushing their agenda on children guys these are our children we do not need to involve kids in our lifestyle as a gay parent myself, my children don't even know I exist. I make sure to never push the agenda down their throats like I do my wife's. But let me tell you, what I do is I make sure that the kids, you know, know they're being taken care of. I put food on the table. They just never see me. I'm like Santa Claus. I'm like the tooth fairy, okay? I come in and I come out of their mother and of the kitchen, you know? I swoop in, put the food on the table, swoop out. They don't even know I'm there. I am so dedicated to not pushing homosexuality on these children that they have yet to meet me and my wife in the same room together. I make sure, I make sure they never, they never see us together. And if they do, I'll say it's my sister. And if they see me making out with her, I'll say it's okay. Do you know incest is legal in some of these here states? So it's all good. You ever heard of Ever heard of Lot and his daughters? Ever heard of the Bible? It's okay. Incest was God approved. Okay. That's see, I could be a grifter. I could be a grifter, guys. <laughs> I'd be so good at it. <laughs> I should do it. I should do it. I should do it. Someone pay me. Where's where's who's the gay agenda? Ben Shapiro, pay me. It needs to be investigated and looked into. Sound dramatic to some, but I don't know. A grown man crying on stage saying, you know, your children will love me, accept me, and join me. This has nothing like this whole mm. has nothing to do with me being a gay man. I don't know why we fight so hard to just be accepted for being gay and be accepted for who we are, but then we'll have a whole month of acting like a fool like this. I don't get it. What has been your favorite part of this event so far? I loved going out there and seeing all the kids um, just living and being there with their parents of all shapes and sizes and just seeing them having so much fun and giving them fans and throwing <laughs> candy and everything like that. Another grown man saying their favorite thing about the Pride Parade is seeing all the kids there. This is why oh, oh, there's don't a growing be an population asshole. of people who are correlating gay. Oh, don't be an asshole. What? Rewind that. Don't be an asshole. Um, just living and being there with their parents of all shapes and sizes. Being with their parents, being with their families, you perv. This black man's a pervert. This is a black gay pervert. This is a hentai. This black man heard something smexual out of something so wholesome. This man might need to see a therapist. He might be one of them. You know what I mean? How did he hear something so wholesome? I love seeing the kids with their families, all their different families. And then he heard something smexual. I swear, the right is so perverted. This is why. This See, this man don't even have to come out as gay. He already came out as gay. But, you know, like Dr. Disrespect, talk about protecting the kids by being in their DMs. Sizes, and just seeing them having so much fun and giving them fans and throwing <laughs> candy and everything like that. Another grown man saying their favorite thing about the Pride Parade is seeing all the kids there. This is why there's a growing population of people who are correlating gays with you know, PDF files. Uh, you just did it, sir. You're the only one doing it. Your brain got perverted. There was nothing perverted about that sentence. <laughs> this is such a grift. This is such a grift, bro. Because the, the children thing, like why can't we just drop it? Why is this grown man so happy that kids can be experiencing and seeing pride when we're- Oh, uh, what's wrong with a grown man liking kids? What, fathers can't like children? should you're right men are dangerous around children men if they talk in any way positively about families or children jail jail men shouldn't even exist jail hard agree this man included he's proving his own point 
Actually, I agree with him. Send all men to jail because even men talking positively about families, probably perverts. That's what this man just said. I agree. Send them to jail. This clip right here, they're showing what's happening at Pride and we're gonna see the other things going on there that this man is apparently so happy that kids get to witness. It's really just in a world like today to have this right now front and center. We need it now more than ever. Have you seen what's happening and what's coming our way? Hey, actually, can someone call the oh, fire department? Sir. That is too hot. My oh my goodness. gosh, someone oh. call 911. Just, oh, oh dear! Oh, oh wait a minute! Oh, wow. oh wait a minute! Yeah. Oh shut! Oh. I can't even show this is all gonna have to be blurred. Oh, no. oh my oh, goodness! My. And, and that's another thing. I'm having to blur this for YouTube because YouTube is trying to protect children from seeing these things and it doesn't want advertisers on these things, yet advertisers are, are in public doing this. And, and people like this anchor, whoever this man is, is saying he's so happy kids are witnessing and seeing. We just heard him say that and now well, we're seeing, what well, is we're not it? seeing this. If you want to see it, you can see it unfiltered on my Patreon for a dollar a month, but we're seeing but what is it? A bunch of half-naked men dancing and flailing and G-strings and all all of that. This is what you're happy for kids to be seeing? This is what you're wanting? This is what, what, what what's represented? You know what's interesting is there is a really nuanced conversation to have about this because if the world was just like women, we could be half-naked dancing around children and it would be totally neutral. And I do think there is a world where men could do that because I see them all the time in documentaries. They're all half-naked, everyone's naked, but they'd be chilling. And so I kind of feel like it might be the group of people that are there that's really the issue. Like I've hung out in Seattle amongst family parades. I've done nudist parades. I've hung out, it's family events and everybody is very safe. Everyone's watching out for perverts. They're watching out for guys like this who sexualize everything. You know what I mean? So then the question is, are, is the nudity the problem or are you the problem? Like being nude, we know isn't the problem. Tribes around the world, people around the world, villages around the world, communities around the world absolutely engage in nudity. Seattle engages in nudity. It's not the nudity, right? It's kind of like what you're doing with the nudity. And also, um, God knows you don't have to be naked to be attacked. God knows you could be wearing a burqa from head to toe and you be getting attacked. So let's not pretend like being nude has much to do with it. This narrative like is outrageous. Now, do I think there are things that are appropriate for kids and things that are inappropriate? Yes. And we're still having conversations about what that is. In some aspects, come on, we know that church is inappropriate for some children. And we also know schools can be inappropriate depending on the school, right? Because they're not catering to the needs of the children. And then like, think about what you're, what you're asking. And also not to mention topless beaches are a thing here in Croatia. And men wear, men wear Speedos here and women wear thongs. And I mean, I got a French cut bikini myself. So let's be real. These G-strings at Pride are not, I mean, they're pretty, sh like they're showing a lot, but so is a beach. Are you like, you know what I mean? Now, to be fair, some conservatives don't take to their kids to the beach because people are in bikinis. To be fair, that is a reality. That's just the reality. Now, keep in mind, the irony is here in Croatia, gay marriage is illegal, but like topless beaches are a thing. So you can be naked in front of a kid, right? But you can't be gay. So every country has a different relationship with what is nudity, what is allowed, what is degeneracy, what is appropriate. You know what I mean? And again, I'm a, you know, if I had a kid, I'd probably be very cautious about like which anime they would watch because I wouldn't want them to watch anime with a lot of fan service and think that women are meant to be objectified or or stereotyped in a particular way until I could explain and have the conversation with them. At Pride, sometimes the events there are inappropriate for kids. A lot of the time they're kind of more neutral, but I can understand there at least being a conversation, but it feels like he doesn't want a conversation, right? He just wants to pretend he's not like those gays. I believe they call it a pick me. I believe they call it to pick me on the internet. With peace and love, there are some variations of appropriate to inappropriate. But I think we should be having more nuanced conversations about it. I know I'm making a lot of jokes as well because, you know, your girl. It feels like a fake video. Do you know why I'm making a lot of jokes? It feels like he's not serious. You cannot be serious. What are you, what are you, 50? What are you, 89 years old? What are you, a, 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 what are you what, how old are you? What are you, like 22? Why are you talking like a grandma? You know, like, what are you talking like a grandma for, bro? Think what gay is to you? I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Bear out here in front of the Wee Home. It says the live stream was intentionally frozen after a penis apparently became visible. Oops. Believable. Oh, there it is. There it is. It made it on there it, it is. you know? 
Yeah, you know what? What can you do? Hey, there was listen, some tape listen, on it. It's also, it's Mickey's, and you know, if you've ever passed by there, they're <laughs> always going to show a little. But you were just saying your happy kids are here singing this, and now there's men flailing around their body parts on stage in front of this, in this parade. I mean, I think it was an accident, but if it wasn't an accident, like you're going to have somebody be inappropriate, guys. I mean, you can walk through the streets of New York and a homeless man might pull his mm -hmm out in Seattle. Men used to pull their mm -hmm out all the time. Inappropriate, but also like you need to explain these conversations. It's not the nudity. It's the context around the nudity, right? And even like pasties and, and, and burlesque and things like that, that's not necessarily inappropriate for kids. It just depends on the context. Thunder, so just you know, just a little bit. So it's just something you got to get used to. You're welcome. That said, you are welcome. I understand why you guys have to stop and pause for the fire truck going by. We saw that here just a few minutes ago. Holy what the hell? I'm at the Abbey. You know? Also, very ethical. and look, this is like really simple. Just have like a kid section and an adult section. Boom, like super simple pimple. Okay, it doesn't have to be that complicated. I just think people aren't willing to have that nuanced conversation because they're just too busy being just so inefficient. Very flexible. I'm just confused. Honestly, I'm confused on what this has to do with me and my husband. I, I mean, maybe nothing. Pride parades are, well, probably nothing, especially if you're for, like, pride parades are a political statement and they're a community statement they're like an opportunity to come together and celebrate so it kind of feels like it probably has nothing to do with you and your husband gay parades aren't for they're if you like them you like them look i haven't been to a gay parade in like years because like i'm busy doing other things but also it's not like i want them to stop just because i'm not going i'm just like not there right now but i i want to go to a european gay parade that would be so fun but you know what i mean like it it's not meant to represent all gay people around the world. It's not meant to be, get, like, it's not about you. Also, congratulations on your marriage. We love to see it. I, oh, and by the way, that's what it has to do with you and your husband. Your husband and you are only married because of pride and because of the politics that surrounded pride and all of the things that happened to go with that. So what does it have to do with you and your husband? Everything. Everything, girl. I don't know if you're old enough to remember an America in which it was illegal to have what you have, but I do. And pride parades were exactly where a lot of that canvassing happened. So with peace and love, it has everything to do with the fact that you're married. Congratulations. We love that for you if you're American. If you're not American, like same same energy though. Pride parades are also a symbol of safety. Like, oh, you, you've been saved out in public. We can be safe being exaggerate, like exaggerative and theatrical in public. I am genuinely confused. It's like, if you want to have this kind of parade, you can. It's a free country. But don't do it for gay people. Do it for the kind of people that you are. Do it for just like a freak fest. Have a freak fest. Call it freak fest. There you go. But don't put me into it as a gay man. And then, because I, I don't like the way gay people are viewed in the United States. And I don't like how this is everything that's like, they're, this is for gays. Like, this is not for me. Indecent exposure is still indecent exposure. Doesn't matter your sex. Sexuality. Indecent exposure is exists even at nude parades, but it's not the same in the context. So you can have indecent exposure at a nude parades. And you're thinking, how do you do that? Because context, guys, there is context of appropriate behavior even at nudist events. So again, pride might be a pro nude pride parade. It might be something different. Kids can go to nude events and not have them not have them impacted in that negative way that you're thinking. Nudity in of itself isn't harmful. So again, like we need to have conversations like there are places on TikTok I see all the time of daughters and fathers and the TikToks together and people are like, oh, would you dress more modestly around your father? Like put on your clothes around your father. And look, I grew up in that bubble too, where like you have to dress decently in front of your family members. And I think we should talk about why we even have that fear in the first place, because you would think the safest place to be naked is around family, not literally. We all have boundaries, but even wearing a swimsuit or wearing some shorts above the knees, like you would think the safest place, but you know, all y'all got problems. Okay. All y'all got trauma in your families. And we need to have more open conversations about the fact that we don't feel safe even around family members. And that's that we, I don't think we're ready to have that conversation, but that's why those TikToks exist because there are literally people on TikTok saying like dress more modestly in front of your father. Like it's my dad, bro.
Like, why is my dad even like, why is that even a conversation? You know why it's a conversation. You know why you're having that conversation, okay? So I want to get to the point where we neutralize the human body and within context, know what's appropriate or inappropriate. I do think there's an inappropriate and appropriate line. Look, I'm not going to wear no thong in front of my dad, okay? Weird. But if there's a way to have a neutral sort of, you know, aesthetic in front of my siblings or father, then yeah, I'm chilling. But if it's not neutral, if there's an aspect to it, that changes the energy. And I will say, if you aren't pride educated, you might not know the difference. Like if you're, look, if you're a person who can't even be in front of your father with short shorts on or like shorts above the knees, like how am I ever going to explain pride to you? So we have to understand like this bubble isn't for you, right? So I'm sorry, would you go to, would this guy go to pride if it was differently done or would he still not go to pride? Because maybe it's just like not for you but it wasn't, it's not speaking for you either. Like pride parades don't speak for all gays. They're there as an opportunity to like canvas and do political work and to celebrate queerness, but you don't have to go. It's not mandatory. They don't take away our gay card if we don't show up guys. But don't put me into it as a gay man. And then, cause I, I don't like the way gay people are viewed in the United States. And I don't like how this is everything that's like, they're, this is for gays. Like this is not for me. Indecent exposure is still indecent exposure. Doesn't matter your sexuality. Doesn't matter how you identify. Pride is not an exception to that. All right, yep. have fun, celebrate, shake some ass, but keep it cute, keep it classy. And most importantly, keep it in your pants until the circuit party or after parties afterwards. Stop targeting children. I don't understand the obsession that some of you have that's the problem i don't think it's about targeting kids we have to remember like parents are bringing their kids there and we have as, as a community if you're part of the community at all need to start having conversations about having a children's section that's appropriate and i'm down for it as a queer person i would love to have like a noon to 3 p.m for the kids and a 3 4 p.m for the adults that would be fire let's do that have with directly addressing children every opportunity you get. I understand it's important for a child to feel loved, welcome, accepted. But when kids are your main focal point and always seem to be your targeted audience, it gives predatory. Number mm. three. Oh, number three is I love this man. <laughs> no. I mean, it only feels predatory because you you know that people do target children in order to take advantage of them, whether they're religious people or companies. Let's be real, religious communities do target children to become members because the best time to be opening and welcoming to children is, or to, to people to grow your numbers is when they're children. Now, to be fair, this can be malicious or innocent. It can be about wanting good for children and while they're developing, giving them a safe space, or it can just be malicious. Right. I don't think every religion is malicious because it targets children and encourages kids to like follow a religion. And I don't think gays are wrong for opening their doors and being like, you know, available for children. Right. Nature says Mr. Rogers is not predatory. Is Sesame Street predatory? Like it's not about targeting children. It's about asking ourselves, is this a subject kids are ready for? And at the end of the day, like being gay or being trans is an issue that children are facing, right? I knew when I was a kid, I think most of my friends knew when we were children, some people don't have the willingness to be open until later, but it is one of those things where it is a children's issue, period. So again, I think the real conversation we need to be having is how do we create a safe space for kids at Pride? That's within appropriate age, like stuff. But also this a problem is like, some families are more eccentric. Some people think children really shouldn't be exposed to religion until they're in high school because it can be so mentally damaging. I mean, there is data showing right now that like religious trauma is as impactful as like physical trauma because of what you have to deal with. I mean, I'm a walking like proof of that, that if you're a queer kid in the wrong environment, you could develop a personality disorder. Thank God, it, like I've got it handled and I've got it settled, you know, thank the goddess. But it is one of those things where I fought for my life to figure this shit out that happened to me when I was a kid that had nothing to do with me. Like, but because I grew up in a super anti-queer home, this is the product. So if we wanna really help kids not be traumatized, we also have to understand that like, we just need to have conversations about what's appropriate for kids in the first place. Some people would say being gay isn't even appropriate for kids. I don't think those people are people we should be listening to when it comes to pride conversations. Like, I wanna know this guy's stance on like trans kids or queer kids in general. Like. Is he the kind of person who's like, don't be gay till you're 18? Like, is that his mentality? Like, what, where's his limit?
Number three is this gay guy speaking facts. It's underscore AJT Sanchez on TikTok, so I'll be sure to put a link below for him, but I love this so far. Can we focus more on love and acceptance and not so much on promiscuity? I'm not a prude. I'm not Father AJ, Sister AJ over here, right? I'm human, just like everybody else. We like it, we love it, we want some more of it. I'm just tired of the over schmectualization when it comes to pride in the community in general. Listen, I'm just as grateful as the next person that I'm allowed to love who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. but as a community, we have so much more to offer than who we lay down with at night. Thank From what you. they sell at the gift shops to the performance. But it's not really about who we're having sex with. And I think that's such a silly way to see it. It's about the legalization, representation, and civil rights attached to the movement, which happens to be related to who you're in love with. It's it's like straight people saying, why did there need to be gay couples in media? Well, why, there, why do there need to be straight couples? We love a love story. It's not about who you have sex with. It's about who you love, how you create connection, how you have partnership, how you raise children. Like, again, why are these people dwindling? Like, people at Pride Parades aren't dwindling it down to sexuality, but they're performing in a way that is being processed as sexuality, which maybe it is in some circumstances. I'm not saying it never is, but I'm also saying that it's about community and family. I mean, it sounds almost like you're saying that if a straight couple holds hands, they shouldn't. Or if somebody gets pregnant or when you say like, oh, my God, are you trying? You're basically saying like, oh, my God, are you having sex? There's a way to have conversations that are appropriate. You wouldn't go up to like a couple who's trying to get pregnant and say like, so did you fuck tonight? You would say, oh, my God, are you guys like trying to have a baby? Which we all means, did you fuck tonight? You know, what I mean? but you don't say it like that. I feel like pride could be similar where you can express yourself in a way that's appropriate without it being crude. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure we're at the point yet where people understand the differences. Like, of course, we're not at the point yet, girl. What am I talking about, girl? I wouldn't even be making this video if we were at that point yet. We're just not at the point yet. Love a bubble. Love a bubble. Performances to the way people conduct themselves at Pride. A lot of it seems to be surrounding bedroom activities. And I just know there's more depth to us than that. Not a good look, in my opinion. Yeah. How are we going to demand respect as a community and expect people to respect us when a lot of you don't even respect yourself? a word how ooh, how are you wanting all, to demand all this respect and you don't even respect yourself look at how you're acting in the street look at how you're shaking your tush look at how you're flailing your body apart look at how you're you're treating and promoting your life like is this is what you want to be respected it's not gonna gain respect it reminds me just like the black community and blm and it's like you're constantly tearing down the, your own community you're constantly disrupting Ooh, this ooh, this topic oh he like a pick me pick me Mm, 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 okay okay i see what we're dealing with here y'all were right in the comments i see what we're dealing with here we're dealing with one of them pick me pick me pick me oh mm, well this is a grift right <laughs> it's gotta be a grift look okay i'm out here respecting your right to be religious i'm not respecting your religious belief though girl get over it okay sis like i'm not obviously respecting your religious belief but like you do you girl civil rights and all that jazz um mm, coming for the blacks and the gays Oof. candace owen wannabe date you know i got this i got this <clears throat> I got to do something about the stool. It makes the... F <laughs> okay, listen. I have been saying to Iraqis this whole time, if you all want better, you know, publicity and branding, y'all got to stop being terrorists. You know, I've been thinking to myself, if people from Iraq wanted better... Trust me. Uh, listen to me, girl. Okay, because I am I am Iraqi. I am a Syrian. Here's my advice. Stop destroying your own villages. Stop promoting these dictators. You know, if you could just get it together, maybe if you weren't so focused on that oil you had, maybe if you could share the oil a little bit, maybe if you weren't so selfish and you could share some of that oil, the world would think better. Maybe that's what you can be proud of, being a sharer instead of a hoarder. Maybe George Bush did you a favor by teaching you how to share. Maybe, just maybe, okay? That's what you could have done. Yo, do not let YouTube cancel me, bro. I'm gonna get kicked off of YouTube. This is, this gotta be a grift. How do you say these things out loud? Like, look, I feel like I know an authentic person when I see one. I just can't get authenticity off this man's skin even though it is looking flawless. I don't know if he's wearing foundation, but it's beautiful. 
you know, it's like, what are we supposed to do with this? These videos are so exhausting. We're only eight minutes in to a 29 minute video. I'm already tired. I'm already sweating. I'm literally already sweating. This is crazy, girl. That's what it sounds like, though. He sounds wild. You guys are saying I'm going to get clipped out of context. Listen, <laughs> okay, haters going to hate. But literally, that's what he sounds like to me. If only black communities didn't destroy their neighborhoods. If only Iraqis shared their oil. <laughs> Ooh, if only the gay... What does me marrying my husband have to do with civil rights? <laughs> What does Pride Parade have to do with me being able to legally get married? He's too funny, bro. I gotta, man, I gotta do it. I gotta switch up my whole fucking brand. Okay, I gotta switch up my whole fucking brand. And just redo the whole thing and make just, okay, this is crazy. Silly, so silly. I hate politics, bro. You guys are so fucking dumb on purpose. Like y'all, you're constantly like tearing down your own community and you're constantly killing each other by, while screaming Black Lives Matter. Excuse me, you don't even act like your own lives matter. And that's what frustrates me about the black community. And best believe I'll be making a video on Juneteenth because that's this month as well. Don't come for Juneteenth, bro. Bro. I don't want to watch this. I'm going to be real. It's just so silly. It's just so silly. Anyone could. Okay, hold on. I got another one. Hold on. Let me do this. I got another one. Let me see. I don't know if you guys know this. I just learned this. Do you know men are suffering? I just learned this yesterday. I was listening to a podcast and I literally heard that men are literally in pain. I just had no fucking clue. I can't believe I was sitting here with 5,000 DMs in my Instagram all wanting to bang me and offer me $5 million just to suck my toes. But here I was in my small bubble, spoiled because I'm a girl and not even sweating or working hard because, again, I'm a girl. And I found out yesterday listening to this podcast, like men suffer. They even cry. I heard crazy bubble pop that some men, they even take their own lives. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that I've been sitting here living my privileged lifestyle, loving my life, being worshipped by all these men, and none of them ever told me they were hurting. I just, I can't believe it. I am so selfish. I am now going to dedicate, and I know I have a 70% female audience, but I'm going to dedicate from now on all of my content and all of my time to uplifting men. They're hardworking. They're the foundation of the world. What would we do without them? And they're, they're out here suffering. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I don't even know. How did I not know that about them? So now, this is what we're going to do from now on. Actually, I think he has a point. And as a woman, I don't think I'm going to argue with this man anymore. Because genuinely, he is suffering he is suffering from the back pain of all the pick me -ness. And I, I cannot stand to see him suffer no more. So I'm just gonna <laughs> shut my pretty little mouth unless he wants me to open it. And well, he's gay, so he wouldn't, but okay. And uh, I'm just gonna let him speak because genuinely he's really what matters here. Black and gays, it, it's too much. It's too much. It's too, too much, much y'all. But yes, well, why are we demanding all this respect, but we're not even acting like we respect ourselves? Exactly. I don't get it. Exactly. In these events. I'll wait. Like I said, I am no prude. I get it. Have fun. Turn up. Celebrate. Let your freak flag fly at the after parties, at the circuit parties, at the nightclub afterwards. You guys know I'm a firm believer in time and place. Period. Because Period. Believe you catch me in the mm. right time and place. Amir's getting ratchet. I'm sorry. Mm. Amir's getting hood. Amir's getting hood. 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 He's getting hood, uh, like on a car, <laughs> hood. Be uncomfortable and frustrating month for me, and I want to tell you why. Pride month used to be about love, and now it's about sex and attention. The thing they would understand is that I'm not speaking up because I have internalized homophobia or because I don't accept the fact that I'm gay. I'm speaking up because I don't agree with the way our movement is handling itself in the public eye, and I don't think that it is good for us in the long run. Mm. I completely agree with that statement. That's why I make this channel. That's why I speak a lot about both gay and black issues, because I don't like the way. 
No, he's right. Because listen, li not to speak for men right now, because we really respect them. But this is why people like Dr. Disrespect, we should listen to his pain. Because, you know, the gays are targeting children. But people like Dr. Disrespect who tower over those children and slide into their DMs, he's trying to help them. You know, I've always said straight men, especially straight men who target children as their primary, well, actually, Dr. Disrespect, we don't know if he was actually talking to a girl minor or a boy minor. So to be fair, he could be a bisexual, pansexual king. They could have been non-binary. But I really feel like, you know, the people we should be focusing on are the men who are suffering so much they feel pressured into DMing children. I really feel like those are really the people that are suffering the most, you know? I really feel like men be out here suffering. <laughs> I didn't mean to text her. I, they've cried. Or just, do you like Minecraft? I swear it must, it must be painful, you know, to have to be pushed into such a corner that you have to DM a child. Life is stressful for these men's, let me tell you. People who are like me, whether you be black or gay or seen in this country, I, and, and they're just so loud. I don't like the way the gays, especially during Pride Month, act in the public eye and how they try to represent all other gays. And sorry, I'm not standing for that. I'm just not. That has nothing to do. I'm going to be brave and say it. I don't think you should hurt children. You can cancel me if you want. You can kick me off the internet. I'm going to say it. I don't think we should be hurting children. <laughs> so brave. Do with me. I just want to live my life in peace, but I can't because now when me and my husband go out in public, people are looking at us like, oh, they're gay. They must think this, 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 or this, or this. Oh, you mean kind of like the way you just did to black people? Oh, they're black. They must be, what would you say? Burning down their own neighborhoods? What did you say? Kind of like what you just did. How dare you stereotype? And then how dare you get mad at being stereotyped, sir? That's what I'm saying. At least own the fact that you're stereotyping. You're out here stereotyping. And then you're about to be mad that the people are going to stereotype you. Ma'am, look in that mirror. Ma'am, can you believe the way? Girl. Mm. Mm. K.O. says grifting takes a lot of energy. I don't know how they do it. Girl, the paycheck must be motivating. The paycheck must be motivating. How much money do you think I could make grifting? They would know though, bro. I can, <laughs> maybe I should do it. It'd be so funny. I'm sorry. It would not be funny. It'd be a little funny. It would be a little funny. What if I grifted, took all their money and donated it to gay causes? Oh, da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to let it be known the same way all straight people don't think the same the same way all gay people don't think the same. No shit. No shit, bro. Hard for them to realize and see that because of how loud the gay community is. And there's not a lot of people like me, you know, this this vocal and speaking out, which I get it because, it, listen, the hate comes. But to a certain extent, I need I'm trying and I'm fighting to let it be known that there's a lot. What a civil rights king right here. This man is saving the blacks the gays and the theys he's out here fighting bro he's out here fighting not other gays that do not vibe with this at all I really do understand this point of view we all long for a sense of belonging right and we all want our community to seem normal we just want to achieve the same sense of no 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 i do not want to be normal like the straights the straights are a mess have you seen straight communities? They're they're marrying their cousins, okay? God bless you. I know it's very normal in Assyrian culture. Everybody's marrying their cousins. I get it. But also, okay, they're out here preying on children. No, no, no. I don't want to seem normal like the straight communities. I want to seem better. I want to be better. Okay, I want to be more free and more stable. Look, I don't like everybody at Pride, but I don't like anybody everywhere always anyways. Okay, I don't like any of you. I love you guys. But I don't like anybody else. Okay, so ma'am, please, I do not want to be like this, the, the straights. The straights have problems. The straights literally have so much trauma. They can't even handle their spouses making more money than them. No, ma'am, I am not here to be the straights. I'm not here to be with, I don't want to be anything like those people. They might be normal, but they are unhealthy. They are un to the healthy. Now, I do think there is a line in the sand of what kids should be exposed to. The problem is, we're not going to agree to what it is. 
considering the amount of children who are married in the United States of America. So many teenagers are getting married and y'all parents are signing off on it. So remember, if you wouldn't take your kid to a pride parade, great. I'm not going to take my kid to church. See, see how we differ. You think a kid should be at church. I think a kid might need to be at a pride parade. Depends if the pride parade is appropriate. Okay. We need to have conversations about what's appropriate for our kids. We all have a line in the sand. Other people don't have. Nobody speaks for anybody. He keeps saying that, but he keeps trying to speak for the gays. See how you're trying to speak for the gays? Sir, you don't represent me either. What do we do now? The pride doesn't represent me. You don't represent me. Who would have thunk that nobody could ever really represent us? And this is what I mean by bubbles, guys. Bubbles. Okay? Bubbles. This is a bubble that's so cringe. I would die. I would literally want to unalive if I was hanging out at this party, bro. You imagine you're just sitting there. It's like the worst blunt rotation. This guy, Blair, God bless her. Ben Shapiro. What's her name? What's the other girl's name? Candace Owens. And then that other girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. I would have to be so high. But to be fair, they'd probably have to be so high to hang out with the people I like. Maybe we should just like mind our business and pass our civil liberties and rights and be able to maintain some like representation here. <sighs> Cognitive says, well, we used to agree that Smex wasn't for kids. No, we didn't. At the rate y'all's grandpas were dating your grandmas when they were in high school. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. This narrative the world has, like we've always wanted to protect kids. Say that to fucking history. Say that to how many child brides there have been in the United States. Say that to, no. It is a lie we tell ourselves that we've been protecting children. We have not been protecting children. We've been doing the opposite, all of us. The straights, the gays, we have not been focusing on children or their safety. You know? And I think y'all need to like figure that out, okay? This narrative we all pretend to tell ourselves like, oh, well, we wanna protect kids, okay. Start now, because we haven't been doing it since day one. Okay? Thank you. <sighs> okay? Andrea says, why God bless Blair? She's horrendous and dangerous. You know what? God bless you too, bitch. Look, at the end of the day, if you don't want to God bless Blair, then you don't deserve to be God blessed either. Okay? I don't wish anything bad on Blair. I disagree with her fundamentally, and she annoys the fuck out of me. So... So God bless Blair, bitch. And God bless you too, bitch. Okay? God bless everybody. God bless the serial killers. God bless Dr. Disrespect. I hope he repents at the gay church of the Lord. Okay? Get better. Or figure your shit out, bitch. God bless everybody. Were you going to not God bless the sinners? You were not listening in Bible church, girl as everyone else so when you see members of your community acting in ways that you don't agree with or you think are going to harm no no you just said we don't represent you as a community so you're not in the community you're not in the community because you're one of them you're either you're in the community because you're active or you're in the community because you're there in spirit i'm in the community in spirit girl i'm not as active but i'm here in spirit okay but like you just said this community doesn't represent you so i guess you're not in it you know, you know, the optics of our community as a whole, I can see why you would disagree with that. The issue is, is that with the LGBTQ plus community, no matter how we represent ourselves or how we present ourselves. Do you think this black man thinks George Washington was nice to his slaves? I'm only asking because I want to know how far the grift goes. Basically, homophobes are still going to hate us. And I think even if we stop doing the pride parades, if we didn't dress provocatively, if we just toned everything down, homophobes would still find a way to subjugate us. True. I disagree. Just because we you disagree because you're stupid and a grifter. There's no fucking way because you know how I know you're doing it to your own people right now, bitch. You are literally doing it to your own people right the fuck now. You are literally making fun of black people right the fuck now. And I know I'm not even getting mad at you. I'm getting mad at the grift. Why are you doing this with your time? You have beautiful skin. Start an OF. What are you doing? Like, you have beautiful skin. Get sponsored by Sephora. Like, what are you grifting for the right for, bro? You literally just lectured the blacks. Leave people alone. Bro, what are you talking about? You, you have so much potential. You have so much potential. God, money really does buy... Like, people do not have values or morals, bro. This is not your fucking belief, bro. I know a religious fucking loser when I see one who really believes the bullshit, okay? And I love them to a T. You're not doing that, bro. Come on. 
You're not doing that. There's no way this man is authentic. I refuse to believe it. We have seen gay acceptance rising in this country. We have seen that. Are there still homophobic people, especially on the right? Of course. I just people who just don't even care the things I talk about, especially politically, do just know that I'm gay and they disagree with that and they don't like me at all. That that's there. But I'm also not gonna sit here and act dumb and think that I'm living the life that my great uncle lived when he was gay uh, during the AIDS epidemic. Was it and, and growing up through the sixties, seventies, and eighties, sure. like I'm living an entire different life. I am his dream, especially regarding being gay and open. Ooh, you are his dream and yet you're still somebody's nightmare. So there's gotta be an upgrade. Every year is an upgrade. Every year is someone better. Just because we're better than the last generation doesn't mean we're done growing. So I'm not gonna sit here and act like it is that bad because that's the same argument that a lot of black people make. Like, well, Amir, you're still black. Or like even Jay-Z song, the story of OJ, you know, blank N-word, blank N-word, blank N-word, you're still an N-word. And this is giving me, you're still a gay person, which I get. There's gonna be people who no matter what, hate my existence, There's no matter what, they do not like that I'm black. They do not like that I'm gay. But I understand that, it, that that's just not gonna go away for some people. Mm -hmm. towards some people there's bad cops bad doctors bad lawyers there's always going to be a certain amount of bad you know we're it's never going to be a utopia however we can strive our hardest to get to that point and i think we have done a good job at that in this country with the way that gays and blacks are now able to do and be free when that wasn't the case let alone two three generations ago like when you would go on a school trip right and your teacher would say now okay Everyone better behave because we're representing the school as a whole, even though there were only a select number of students actually leaving. Oh, and this is a question about playing into your bubbles. See, I'm not a representation of anyone but myself, but obviously people use me as a representation. I think I'm a pretty good one. But also, it doesn't make any sense to think about people because you can't say people aren't a monolith, but also you represent your community. Because if that's the case, men, you need a new brand. You need a new brand men coming out right now and crying and bitching about how hard their life is. Um, first, you brag about creating the world and being like, we're the backbone of the world. We're the reason the world is the way it is. Okay. Then why are you crying about it? Why are you crying about it? Hmm? <laughs> make it make sense. You can't make it make sense because you're fucking dumb and you're only dumb because you literally don't even bother to read a fucking book. And I know because the average American ain't read no books. So don't come at me right now when the average American has a fifth grade understanding. Also, the president's speeches, apparently the president's debate at like a fifth or sixth grade level because that's the average voter. Don't fucking come for me, bro, when the data shows it. Everyone always thinks they're a fucking genius. We have Terrence, out here, Terrence Howard out here trying to rewrite math. One of one is actually two because one times one is two, sir. Terrence Howard is literally out here trying to rewrite math because he can't read a fucking book. It's like, Jesus Christ. Okay, everyone thinks they're a fucking genius and you all read at a fifth grade level. Don't fucking come for me, okay? Don't lecture me. If America was all at some fucking high ass reading level, then I'd say, oh, we could have a conversation. Okay, but that's not what's happening. So an average, so imagine a group of sixth graders literally being like, I know stuff. And I'm like, okay. Basically, we've got a bunch of sixth graders out here being like, I know what to do for the country. And I'm like, great. All right, what is it? Lord of the Flies, every day of our lives, okay? Come, girl, please. This is why the grift's so easy. This is why the grift's so easy. Because you all have the intelligent level of a child and you're all like, this black man really makes some sense. This black man really represents me. Uh, bro. Bro. What, ma'am? <sighs> Look, you guys are sounding like boogie. Men are all starting to sound like boogie to me. It's like y'all want the sympathy and empathy, but every time someone tries to give it to you, they're like, not that way. I want it in the way of pussy. I want women in my DMs. Sir, get the fuck over it. Oh my God. Men act like women are so honored to have all these men in their DMs. Do you want to see my DMs? Hi, do your feet smell interesting? Can I see your toes? Could you spread your cheeks for me? Oh yeah, super cool guys, love that. Greatest DMs of my life. Think, man, think, think. Think, Vegeta. You thought an M on your forehead would let you win? Think, Vegeta. Think. Think. 
Oh, have you guys seen that meme of Goku being like, think Vegeta, you thought you were going to win? <laughs> when he came over to Majin. <laughs> Anime is so funny. Okay, listen. Okay. Oof. This grift is exhausting me, bro. He's so exhausting. It's like not true though. It's like none of this is, this is so silly. Uh, it's like the people that are like, you would have an abortion if you had an ectopic pregnancy. You would murder your baby. Um, Yidus, the fetus. Hello, what are we talking about here? Y'all acting like, oh, how awful. You would have an abortion if you had an ectopic pregnancy. Don't sit here on your moral high ground. All right, you don't even, s girl. I will slap you, girl. In the school. And now I think it would be ridiculous of anyone to judge that classroom, even if those pupils were behaving badly, and to extrapolate that and say, well, that entire school must be bad. And just like that school, you can't condemn an entire community for the way that they present themselves based on a few bad examples. It's not even the fact that it's a few bad examples. It's a lot of bad examples, and it's a lot of completely inappropriate things that you can't even get to a middle ground on. They're just things you cannot do. You cannot go after people's children. You cannot try to transition people's children. You cannot try to push and advocate for children to have the right to have a double mastectomy and be castrated. You cannot advocate for the right for a child to become. Okay, that's fucked up, though. Are you saying children don't have the right in medical emergency situations to get the medical care they need? Or are you saying you don't want to encourage children to mutilate themselves when it's not an emergency? Because I'll be real with you. Um, if you have to cut off your kid's arm because you can't get a vaccine fast enough, like from a rattlesnake like issue and you got to cut off their limb, bro, I'm going to take a hacksaw. For are we just saying like we're not going to save children's lives? Like, I think people forget like first it's like it's like the scare they have around like um like nine month abortions everyone's like nine month abortions are just like you can just have them so easily guys these are not real conversations these are fake conversations that happen with people's fear none of this is real all of this is performative all of this is so uneducated and we're all arguing with uneducated people because genuinely like you know that's just what the world's made up of including me including you we only know what we know and that's it okay at the end of the day, people need to have access to medical care in emergency situations, no matter how horrific it seems, if we want to preserve some form of life. So obviously women who are having late term abortions is because something went horribly wrong. And also the term abortion in a lot of places includes a miscarriage or stillbirth because of the process in which it occurs. So you have to be really careful with what language means, right? That's why, oh my God, that is, this is very serious. If we're being very serious about these topics, like obviously nobody is. Nobody's being actually very serious about this, right? That's why people drama and clickbait and, you know, they make up stories about people. Look, the reality is you're not being serious. I'm not being serious. That's why we're making jokes. This is not a serious way to have a conversation, that you're not being serious. That's what I've realized about like drama YouTube too. It's just like the most unserious space I've ever seen in my life. Debate bro, YouTube is so, un you're not being serious. You are being so unserious right now. And it's just like, that's why it's entertainment. You are Fox News and you are no better than it. Because you are, just, let's be real, it's entertainment. You're just being so unserious right now. Black communities should stop burning down their homes and the gays should stop targeting children. Like, you're being so unserious right now, bro. KO says the medical term for a miscarriage is called spontaneous abortion. Well, there we fucking go. Ugh, you guys are not being serious. Eh, what are you going to do? Anyways, I want to finish this video. It's just silly. It's just a silly video. And for all those people that are like, she didn't even finish the video. Honey, I'm an old gay woman. I have heard every fucking conversation along these lines my whole fucking life. And none of you are fucking serious about anything. You are so unserious. It's embarrassing. And it's 2024, girl. I, with your spoiled, privileged, married ass, how dare you be married, gay, and black? And then talk about, what do we even need pride for? What does this have to do with my marriage? Bitch, everything everything girl you ain't getting no views out of me girl i'm over it
I'm in bed, my belly's being fed, and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking. Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth. Life is a fool. Dun, dun.